Okay, this video will show you how to create backgrounds and gradients in Illustrator. And I'm going to use the uh, minimalist movie poster assignment to illustrate those ideas. So to set up the document, just go File, New. We'll just leave it as size letter. And if your poster is going to be vertical, choose this orientation. If it's going to be horizontal, choose this orientation. If you don't know, just choose vertical. And you can always go and change that under File, Document Setup, and then just change it here. I'm going to leave it vertical because that's what most posters look like. Uh, I already created this X-Wing file because naturally I'm going to do Star Wars. Let's put it right there. Okay. And let's type out Okay, the original name on the screenplay is The Star Wars, so that's kind of fun. And then, of course, choose a font that looks good for the um, <laughs> the movie. Okay, I'm just going to make some changes here. Okay, let's work on the arrangement. There we go. Okay, so I've got that stuff. Now I'm going to create a background using a big rectangle that covers my paper entirely. Um, now, oops, I changed the stroke. Let's get rid of that stroke. Red slash. There we go. Hmm, that's not a good color. Um, first of all, to get it behind everything, I'll just make sure the rectangle is selected, then I'll right click on it, go arrange, send to back. And you can see it puts everything in the back naturally. Um, next up, <laughs> this is such an ugly poster. Let's make it blue. There, that's better. Next up, let's try adding a gradient. Um, you have a little palette here called gradient. You can just click on window gradient to bring it visible. And then these little two arrows will um, either expand it completely, make it just the simple one, or hide it. So I'm going to expand it completely, click on this one. So that's a bar gradient or a linear gradient. And if I change it to radial, you can see in the center it's white and on the edge it's black. You can change these colors. You may have seen the orange one. You can change these colors. Oh, I don't even have it selected. By clicking on little thing right here and you can see right here you're changing the color a lot of people make the mistake of then clicking right here not realizing that that will change the entire picture so if you want to change the, just this color you have to use the color palette like one of these colors here or you can mix your own stuff right there I'm gonna put white on the middle then maybe a blue on the outside there we go and then you can actually change where that little circle thing is by clicking right here on the gradient tool. So you have to make sure your rectangle is already selected. Otherwise, when you choose your gradient tool, nothing will happen. So let's make sure the rectangle tool is selected. Gradient tool right here. I'm going to click where the center is and drag to where I want it to finish gradating, I suppose. I'm actually going to reverse these, so I'm going to move these things over like that. There we go. Now it gradates outward. Let's change this to white, see what happens. Okay, that's kind of neat. And then of course you can add more color. So if I want to go to go from blue to green to white, I can just click anywhere along here and it'll create another one. And then if you want to get rid of it, just click and drag it down. So I'm going to click one, put it right about in the middle, and we're going to make it greenish. So now you can see it goes blue, green, white. That looks funny, but whatever. And so that's how you can edit gradients. Well, that's odd. Anyway, <laughs> there you go.